see inside how things work. We're going to go through page one, which is called Simple Machines. The secret behind how lots of things work are basic tools or devices that scientists call simple machines. Here is an imaginary machine that combines several of them in one. Let's start with the wheel. A wheel is one of the simplest machines of all. It's often used to transport things around, like on this cart. Or you often see them on cars and buses and bicycles. What's next? A cog. A cog is a kind of a wheel with big teeth. When this big cog turns, it's turning anti-clockwise. The small clock cog turns around in the opposite direction. So this turns anti-clockwise and this one is turning clockwise. And this has a conveyor or a belt around it which it is moving. What's in behind the flap? The small cog turns around faster than the big one because it has fewer teeth. This means it pulls the belt faster too. Up next we have a pulley. A pulley is a wheel with rope or cable running over it. Here's the wheel and here's the pulley. At one end there's a worker pulling or holding this rope and at the other end is a wedge. So when you pull one end, when she pulls this end, let's see what happens. You can lift something up at the other end. Like so. An inclined plane. It's just a slope surface. Moving something up an inclined plane is easier than lifting it straight up. These workers are pushing these boxes up an inclined plane. Do, 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 do. Uh, what do we do now? The wedge is in the way. Let's move the pulley. There you go. Ah, now we have a screw. A screw is an incl inclined plane in a spiral shape. Turning it one way makes it go forward. Look, he's turning it clockwise. Clockwise closes. A righty tighty is pushing the screw in. What happens when he unscrews it? <gasps> Lefty Lucy, he's turning it anti clockwise. He's opening the screw, and look, it's released these three balls back into this tray. It's kind of like opening a, and closing a tap. So a screw is an inclined plane in a spiral shape. Who knew? Let's see what's next. Finally, we have a lever or a lever, but we call it a lever. A lever is a rod that tilts or turns a fixture point called a fulcrum to move something. This is your rod. This is your fulcrum, look. What's this look like? It's a wedge. And what happens when, when the balls push down on one end, the other end pushes up and strikes the bell. Boing. And that means it's going home time. Tomorrow, or next up, we will tell you all about movers and shakers.